What's up everybody, my name is Big Cam and today I am doing another movie review continuing my DC movie rewatch with 2020s. This one's got a big title, so Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. I do love this movie, right? And I can see why a bunch of dudes might hate this movie. Ugh, it's feminist shit, bunch of pussies. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's very different, right? Sure, and it's different, and because it's different, some people might hate it. But I don't hate it because it's women. I dislike it because it's not that great a movie. But I still had a good time. You know, Harley Quinn as Margot Robbie, like, or vice versa, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn is fucking phenomenal. And watching her as Harley Quinn anytime is always a good time. Uh, but, you know, seeing a whole crew of women just kick a whole bunch of ass is, is a good time to me. And you get Ewan McGregor as, you know, fucking Obi-Wan, as Roman Sionis, the fucking Black Mask. And he's like unhinged as fuck. Like it's just great to see our hero Obi-Wan Kenobi as this villain and psychopath. It's fucking hilarious. Um, but if you're also a fan of other movies, kind of like, you know, a uh, white man don't jump or white man can't jump, Rosie Perez was in that movie and she fucking kills it in that movie, but also kills it as a cop in this movie. She becomes a part of the group too as uh, Montoya, Renee Montoya. Uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead married to, uh, Ewan McGregor. I wonder if this was where they met. No, I'm sure they were maybe married before that, but still, uh, together with Ewan, and she plays Huntress in this, uh, Helena Bartonelli. Uh, Journey, Sm Journey Smollett plays Black Canary. I really like her. She did a good job as Black Canary. Uh, Cassandra Kane, Ella J. Bosco. She was like a young girl, like Pit Pocket. I kind of liked what she did too. And you know, just like the, the crew of women here, it was, it was solid to see. To be perfectly honest, I watched it a couple days ago and it's highly forgettable. I don't remember a whole lot of it, <laughs> but I know I don't hate it. You know, it's one of those movies that I've watched now since 2020 a couple times and that's probably maybe more than it deserves, but yeah, I'm, I'm not like an overly hater on this movie. I don't overly love it, but it's somewhere in the middle there. Uh, I was debating on giving it between two and a half and three stars, but I went ahead and gave this one three out of five stars, about a six out of ten. Uh, if I had to give it like a real score, it would probably be a six zero out of ten, you know, not like a six five or a six four, you know, and it's like a six zero out of ten for me. It's like, you know, damn near creeping towards middle of the way, but... Solid, you know, like not my most hated movie in the DCU, you know, <laughs> like there's other movies that scored way lower and uh, maybe I just love women. So seeing women be badass in like seeing women in movies, like I don't mind this at all, you know, seeing women in the MCU, seeing women superheroes or villains in this case, like doesn't bother me whatsoever and I actually thoroughly enjoy it almost slightly more than seeing men <laughs> kick ass. Uh, but at the end of the day, a good movie is a good movie, right? So this wasn't, you know, a fucking incredible movie, but Birds of Prey, when I have to revisit it, revisit it again in the future in a DC rewatch, I ain't mad whatsoever, you know? And uh, coming up in my list is Wonder Woman 1984. I can tell you for certain right now that I know I like that movie less than this movie. So not a whole lot of great in the DCEU, but man, there's stuff worse than this. I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, and if not worse than this, comparable to this, I mean, shit, we got Wonder Woman 1984 coming up. I certainly don't like that movie as much as the first Wonder Woman or as Birds of Prey. And, uh, and then after that, I got James Gunn's Suicide Squad. So maybe we go up a little bit. But still, hey, Margot Robbie's in that one too. So stay tuned. Uh, more DC rewatch coming up this week. We're almost done with my DC rewatch. Compared to all of the movies in the MCU versus all the DC movies, it's a drastic difference. I think it's like 30-something to 40 for the DCEU and like 80 for the goddamn Marvel. So like... I'm pretty sure I just ranked Deadpool and Wolverine the other day at 25th. And it's honestly like a fair score to be at 25th out of 84 in the Marvel MCU. And that's all their projects, TV shows, everything. Uh, so comment below. Check out my 
letterbox lists and rankings and see if I'm missing any movies or TV shows that I should maybe watch in the DCEU. Now, if I added every DC animation project to that list, maybe it starts getting padded out more and more. So comment below. What are some more DC projects that I should review or watch or read? Uh, maybe some comic books in the, cha in the chat. Uh, but comment those things below. Message me on my other social medias. Links down in the description below. But if you've made it this far in the video and you'd like to support the channel or support me more, liking this video, subscribing if you're new, hitting that bell so you don't miss future videos, all goes a long way to help the channel. Hitting that share link button on the share tab, share link, goes a long way, man. I really appreciate you all for coming by and stay tuned for the next movie review that will be Wonder Woman 1984. But I'm Big Cam and I will see you beautiful people in the next video. Peace.